Finding the Master Sword in Breath of the Wild is not tied to the story at all. Depending on how much you decide to explore Hyrule, you could completely miss it. On the other hand, you could stumble upon it on your own without ever intentionally searching for it. That's just how open the game is. But if you would like to find the Master Sword as soon as possible, we'll tell you exactly where it is and how to obtain it. And to find it, you have to make your way to the Lost Woods, which is north of Hyrule Castle. When you first arrive at the Lost Woods, you'll see a series of fires. Naturally, you'll want to follow them since they're your best indication of where to go. But eventually, they'll disappear, and there's no clear clue of what to do next. At least at first, because the last pair of fires have a torch next to them. Light it, and it will show you the way. It's not a flashing signal, but a subtle hint that even the previous fires had. Their embers fly in the direction that you're supposed to go. The torch does the same thing. So what you have to do is move in the direction indicated and stop on occasion to see if the embers have changed direction. If they have, go that way, and eventually through this method, you'll find your way to a valley that leads into the Korok Forest. Alternatively, you don't need the torch at all. Instead, use the same method to watch where the light particles flying around the Lost Woods go and follow them. No matter the method, you'll find your way through. And as you walk forward, you'll see the Master Sword in its pedestal. If you want, you can attempt to pull out the sword right then and there. However, it could be deadly if you don't have enough hearts. You need 13 in total. Fortunately, there's a shrine nearby that you can use to easily return to the Korok Forest. And if you're close to that number, but not quite there, you can go to Hateno Village. Near the western entrance behind a rock, you can find the Horn Statue. Talk to it and you'll be able to rearrange the amount of hearts and stamina vessels you have. Because bonus yellow hearts don't count, you can use the Horn Statue's small fee to help reach the 13 heart requirement. Once you have it, return to the Korok Forest and draw the Master Sword. Once it's in hand, your health will be restored. The Master Sword doesn't break, but if it runs out of energy, you'll need to wait until it recharges. Additionally, you can never drop the Master Sword, so you may want to photograph it before you take it for your Hyrule Compendium. Finally, if you have full health, attempting to throw the Master Sword will instead create a Sword Beam, just like the older games and Skyward Sword. However, if you take damage, this technique will not work until you're back to full health. And there you have it. The Master Sword is yours. Thanks for watching, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Zelda and other things gaming.